Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Volcanoids, the volcano steampunk survival game. Uh, if you missed the last episode, we upgraded our weaponry by a lot. We have a drill, not a drill saw, a, um, a hand saw for uh, some very intense melee up close action, which is very, very dangerous. And we have now also have a hand mortar, which is like a grenade launcher pretty much, but it launches them super, super far compared to hand thrown grenades. Uh, really, really good for dealing with groups of bots at a time and also turrets on enemy drill ships. Now, we only have a couple minutes until the volcano erupts. Um, I need another boiler. I have one boiler on me and I don't have any other boilers. And in order to progress, I'm gonna need this boiler. So, oh, we got some people attacking, or some cogs attacking our ship. Hopefully one of them has a boiler. All right, it's a bunch of blue ones. Boilers come from red guys, as far as I'm aware. All right, you do your thing, drill ship. Ooh, is that a red guy? Nope, that's a blue guy too. A lot of blue guys around here, unfortunately. All right, the eruption's about to happen. I've cleared my inventory just so I can loot these guys. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to move areas in order to find some red cogs to get these boilers from. So we're gonna head underground find a different area after the eruption, and hopefully we can get going in increasing our refinery production. All right, so while we go underground, uh, a lot of people in the comments are mentioning that I should check out the device tabs of the production station because, oh boy, there's some interesting stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. So look at armor repair station, replays player armor when used, consumes drill ship energy to recharge. So that, that seems like something worth getting. Also, healing device heals sailors when used. These two might be really, really good. Uh, we could also have these different hubs, which I think are to have more complex automation over our refining and research and all that stuff. That might be a little bit over my head at this point, but if someone wanted to get really, really complex in how they um, map out their drill ship and do things, that could probably be really, really useful. Look at this, there's some really complex stuff. Remote access to modules of three groups. So I'm guessing that this is so you can have very particular manufacturing setups and you could just change them out with the pull of a lever because after when all of your hubs get open, they all consume energy. And sometimes it's more efficient just to use what you need. You don't need your pistol turrets if you're not under attack, like things like that. So this, you could have different setups that you could probably just manually swap between. You can just have all kinds of feedback panels to just let you know how your ship is doing and all that stuff. It's pretty cool, but I can't make any of that just yet because all my storage is uh, closed because I am underground. So let's go, oh, let's get some coal. Let's just get some stuff on the way as well, of course. But let's head over to where there's more likely, I am way over here and the red guys, I think are more over in this area, more likely to be over in that area. I don't know, I think. Why are there no robots anywhere, though? Have they all evacuated the low-tier areas or something? This is really strange. It's like a ghost town. What is this place? A copper mine. That sounds nice. Too bad I don't have any room for copper. Wait, do I have any room for copper right now? Let's find out. Nope. That sound means nope. Wait a minute. Can you... Oh. Can you get... Can you get... In? How... There's a door here. There's a door here. How do I open the door? What is this? What? Can I go underground? I've... Oh, where's my flashlight? There we go. I didn't know that there was an inside to these places. Can I go down there without getting stuck? There's a ladder. I'm just gonna jump down. This is crazy. I don't, it doesn't look like there's actually much here though. What about this? No way, it is so dark in here. All right, there's some copper. I guess there's just a bunch more copper down here if you really needed copper. This is definitely a new experience for me in this game. I don't know if this stuff existed and I never found it before. Man, there's so many pathways. All right, well, that was a fun little detour. I wonder if there's a way to like power up this place. It'd be cool to see all this stuff moving. But anyway, uh, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for some red guys. I forgot, what does it take to make the armor repair station? I need dials. All right, I'll produce that and I'll produce that. There we go. I guess I could do armor repair station right there. And I can do a health repair station. I'm just gonna do it right here inside there. 
No, maybe I can actually move this and put it right there. There we go. Armor and health. Already fully repaired. Device has no charge. Already fully healed. Oh, let me put my armor on, by the way. So, if my armor survives, I should be able to repair it here. I don't know what it costs. It says it costs energy, but I don't know if I need certain materials or not. But that's definitely a welcome ship upgrade. So, let's head underground. Whoa, that is a tier three drill ship. I've never even seen one of those yet, I don't think. Three stars? Yeah, I'm not going near that. <gasps> Guys, I finally found it. I have been looking all over for just any signs of life. And I haven't found any signs of life, but I found a boiler. And that is all I needed. So it turns out, for some reason, I kept thinking that these drill ships on the map were actual drill ships, but these are actually wreckage areas in which you will find parts of that kind of drill ship. So this is a wrecked refinery drill ship, and the refinery drill ship is where uh, the boilers are found. Although there's only a chance that you'll actually get a boiler out of all the other refinery base modules. Let's find a spot to surface. We're gonna surface at the deep ravine up here. Man, that took me a while. I mean, you can say we're almost at the next eruption, but I'm gonna surface anyway, just so I can get this stuff in my inventory. All right, there we go. So now that we have the boiler, we gotta produce a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna get to that, hopefully before the eruption. Oh, uh, well, it won't even let me take the risk I wanna take. Quest pause until after the eruption. So I gotta go underground anyway. Hey, if I want to cut it that close to the eruption, let me cut it that close to the eruption. I can make bad choices on my own. I can have regrets, okay? All right, we're back on the surface. We're ready to do this. We're going to make this production module. All right, I got the tier two refinery. We're going to place it the only place I literally can because everything else is actually full. So now we finally got some new quests. Oh, this is it, guys. Upgrade drill ship core. We're running low on space on the drill ship and slot capacity. Exactly. Upgrade, upgrade, yeah, boop. upgrade the drill ship core to increase our production possibilities. Better core increases the core slots, which allow you to open more modules. All right, I feel good about that. So it looks like I can build this drill ship core and I can build the engine too, which I'm guessing I'm gonna have to build next anyway. So I'm just gonna add it to the queue. It says strong enough to move three segments. And that's exactly what I want to do is add another segment to this drill ship. All right, here it goes. I am upgrading to drill ship core two. Well done. Now what is it gonna tell me to do? Build power plant module two. I was actually about to do that. And there we go, upgrade engine already on it. I'm ahead of the game here. Um, so I need four iron plates, one, two, three, four. And then with those four iron plates, I will be able to produce one of those, I believe. And what is attacking me right now? Oh boy, they better not be throwing grenades. You guys stop it. Ow, 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 ow. They're actually getting me. Oh, that guy had a, really? Now I find a boiler on a cog? That guy, had, another boiler? Now they're all over the place and these aren't even red ones. I just found two boilers from randos that attacked my ship after I spent like 40 minutes just going around looking for anybody to give me a cog. All right, and look at that. We are under production for the coal. Let's uh, go ahead and upgrade our engine while that's producing. All right, engine is now upgraded. Does that mean, hold on a second here. Well, let's go, let's do the quest first because this is probably gonna be a quest. With upgraded engine, drill ship is now capable to haul in extra segments. This segment is much larger than the previous two. What? It gives three times more space than the front segment? <gasps> this gives you a huge amount of extra space. Another advantage of the possibility to place walls and floors. Yes. And then, oh no. Find and destroy drill ship tier three. Advanced drill ships are equipped with corundum drill, which we need to get. It won't be as easy as these ships have strong defenses and a lot of modules. Remember, you have to take them all out before eruption happens and the whole ship retreats underground. The next drill ship will be fully operational again and all your effort will be wasted. It is strongly suggested to bring a lot of mortar ammunition and grenades. Once the drill ship is down, quickly mine the front tracks and hull. Oh man. That's gonna be really hard, I think. All right, so funny thing is, I've a while ago, I actually already built the drill ship segment because I thought I could just add it, but I needed an engine upgrade. And now I also have coal power plant module two. And I'm also gonna start making storage module two again. We need four iron plates, four iron tubes, and one chest. All right, in the meantime, let's add our drill ship segment. Drill ship segment can only be stalled underground. Oh, so I think we are now qualified as underground, so. Here we go. Install the drill ship segment. Yes. All right, so now I've got one, 
Whoa. Whoa. It goes in the... Whoa. This is massive. And then... I guess this is... It actually went in the center of my drill ship. How interesting. Okay, so now I can install uh, storage. I'm going to install it up close to the front. There's the storage. I'm going to install the uh, coal power plant over here. There we go. So now we have a lot more storage and a lot more power. I'm going to delete this thing. I never use that anymore anyway. And I'm also going to delete this storage module. And I'm going to replace that with another door. So now I can get in on both sides near the front. All right, so I have this whole production chain ready, ready to produce everything I need to add some more storage and a door. But that's not going to happen until I get to the surface. But in the meantime, I actually need to make my way over to a tier three drill ship. Guys, this is going to be insane. All right, apparently I have to surface. Let's use my periscope first. Apparently I have to surface in this area. I already see a bunch of cogs just walking around over there. But I guess if I go up here, Dark Labyrinth number two. Okay. I guess this is going to be the area where we're going to fight a tier three drill ship. I'm probably going to die. All right, let's take a look at our drill ship. Our three... Oh, I got to repaint it. It's blue in the middle. <laughs> oh, it has my logo on the side too. Yeah, I'm going to have to take out my spray tool. My spray tool again. We're going to go ahead and let that run. And I'm not going to... I'm actually going to wait till the next eruption, I think. I'm going to focus on getting my ship more in order here. Maybe I'll paint it up. And then after the next eruption, we'll attack. Oh, I need to get ammo and stuff too. But yeah, after the next eruption, I'll go ahead and attack the uh, drill ship. All right, in the meantime, here's another door. So now we can get out... Wait, do I not have a door on the door like this? I need... Do I need to actually build one of those independently of the actual door? Oh, here we go. A copper door. There it is. All right, there we go. Copper door. Perfect. All right, and then I'm going to go back here. I'm going to put some more storage down. Perfect. And then I have another coal thing for some more energy. All right, we're doing good. I'm going to take some more grenades out of here. Oh, no. Oh, no. They are... Uh, this is the wrong side. Now I can go out both sides at least. They're hitting me with grenades. Whoa, they're doing a lot of damage over here. I think they destroyed a, seg a segment. I need another pistol. That's so bad. Oh my goodness, I just got this. I just got this. What's going on here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. All right, well, now I know what else I need to make. Okay, modules. Uh, should I have an SMG turret module? Great, I hear more coming. No, 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 no. Where's, where's my turret? Don't I have a turret over here? All right, I'm gonna produce SMG turret module. I'm gonna produce two SMG turret modules. I'm gonna need more copper gun components as well. And I'm going to put an SMG turret module on either side, which means I'm also going to have to produce SMG ammo. Probably a lot of... I'm going to produce a thousand SMG ammo if it's possible. 1K. There we go. And in the meantime, I'm going to repair those breaches with these breach replacement things. There we go. And I'm also going to need some repair kits. Man, this is, uh, this is getting really hard again really quick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get back in. Get back in. I'm getting under attack again. This is so bad. Oh, no. They destroyed... I think I may have done that. I think I may have accidentally been shooting it with my own weapon. They destroyed an entire module. This is so bad. I'm just trying to sit here and craft things, guys. And am I getting attacked from this direction, too? What's happening over here? Oh, I'm hearing explosions. No! Did you destroy something? You better not have. Oh, man. This is getting too close for comfort. I really need some defenses. Okay, let's hurry up. I have them on me. I have them on me. We're doing an SMG turret right in the middle of this section. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, no. They're already coming in. All right. Where is that coming from? Who's shooting? Okay. Coming from over there. All right, now SMG module right there. All right, we got two SMG modules, 1,000 ammo. God, I'm just trying... I am so behind right now. I'm just trying to prepare myself, and they won't even let me get prepared. They got some good strategy. The volcano is going to erupt soon and everything. All right, let's get in. 
I'm out of energy? No ammo? What? I have ammo. Oh boy, I gotta go anyway. Um, hold on. Was there something? Oh no, what happened up here? One of my coal things got destroyed, it looks like. Ah, uh, this is bad. All right, I got 20 seconds. I gotta get underground. This is so bad. All right, I just narrowly escaped that eruption. I'm gonna resurface. That drill ship might not even be there anymore. No drill ships found. They moved. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Oh, I can test out my repair thing now. Okay, I don't know exactly what that took, but it seems to repair my armor, so I'm happy with that. All right, so here it is, 1,000 SMG ammo, but yet when I go, oh no, I re I produced SMG ammo. I didn't produce SMG turret ammo. Go to ammo. This is SMG ammo. This is SMG turret ammo. Oh, I need SMG ammo to produce SMG turret ammo. Okay, so that's actually perfect. All right, now I need more iron plates. Energy low, open or a bit. Why am I? Why is my energy low? I have so much coal on here. I thought. Oh, they got rid of all. They destroyed a lot of my coal things. That's why. All right, I need to produce some more tier two coal then. Oh, there goes the SMGs. Uh, I don't know which direction to look. Not that direction. All right, how are they doing? They seem to be doing all right. I'm definitely gonna help though because these guys got all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, we got anybody else coming after us? Are we defended in this direction very well? I feel like we're not. Oh man, I should probably have the turret right on the end, shouldn't I? All right, well anyway, got another coal plant right here. So that should increase our power. Hopefully, let's go check our power right here. All right, now we are in the yellow. We're kind of even. So I'm gonna test out, can I take this turret module? Can I put it in the ceiling? Oh, that would be so nice if you could put a turret in the ceiling, but it looks like you can't. I'm gonna take this and move it as well. So turret goes right and back. That's gonna go on the side. All right, and I'm gonna try to produce one more coal thing to put back there. Oh boy, it's happening again. We're under attack. That actually seems like a real, the SMG turret seems really good actually. All right, let's actually loot these guys. Yeah, that's nice. That's a lot of ammo though. That feels like a lot of wasted ammo and it's expensive ammo too. So I don't know. I don't know if it'd be more worth it to have pistols just surrounding the ship. All right, so you can see my armor's a little bit damaged. Let's go to repair again, see what it takes. I think as long as I have energy, I can use it, which is great. All right, let's check our resources. We have 16 grenades. I have 11 mortars. <sighs> I think, and I got plenty of healing on me. Uh, should I make an SMG? Copper gun components to make an SMG. Fast firing machine gun. There we go, SMG is under production. All right, now I have like 2000 SMG turret ammo and I have 200 SMG ammo, so check it out. Uh, oh, I guess, I guess I'll reload this while I'm here. There's a hand mortar reloaded. I'll reload this, get everything reloaded. And here it goes, the SMG for the first time. Might be go- Oh, oh, the lighting. Oh, the lighting. What is this lighting? <laughs> I can't aim like this. I can't work under these conditions. All right, we have 14 minutes. Do you think that's enough time to attack a drill ship? 180 meters over in that direction. Or no, there's that one right there. That's the, uh... wait, is this right? Approach enemy drill ship. Ah, ah. Okay, all right, here's my chance. I can't use that. How much ammo I am? I just used so much ammo. That was 50 ammo right there. I can't, I can't use the sights on this. Literally can't see with the sights. I don't know if that's just because I'm underground and like just the lava is doing that or I don't know what the deal is with that. But so far, I don't like the SMG yet. Maybe I just haven't given it the right chance, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. All right, there's so much stuff to repair. All right, here it goes. I'm just gonna do it. I'm repairing my armor. I'm gonna send my drill ship underground and head in the direction of where the quest is telling me to go over here, 250 meters apparently. Oh, wait, 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 what? Wasn't it just, it was just 250 meters. Now it's 763 meters. No, wait a minute. That's not fair. But another drill ship just surfaced near me. So I don't think I have to chase it. Yeah, there it is. All right, this is gonna be interesting. That's a lot of cogs. That is so many cogs. Are you serious right now? Oh, I should have healed myself. I didn't realize my health wasn't that full. This is gonna be ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna use my SMG on these guys. All right, he's the only one actually uh, fighting back right now. There we go. My goodness, this is uh, not efficient use of ammo. Oh, actually, it's a lot better close up, I guess. 
Oh, I can't see. All right, it's nice if you get headshots. All right, how about this guy? I need like a sniper for long range. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a really good hit. All right, here we go. Moving on up. I don't think I gave myself enough time for this. Ah. Oh no, gotta get by. Uh, fire. Yeah, yeah, cover, cover, cover. 17 bullets left on this gun. Six bullets left. Yeah, I don't know about the uh, SMG. This is tough. I'm gonna run out of armor now. I don't know why. I should have. I probably should have just used the hand mortar, despite the uh, ammo issues. Okay, doing okay so far. I can probably get some more ammo from these. Oh, that's not a. That's a, a live guy right there. All right, come on, give me some ammo or something. I think I got a hand mortar from that guy. Ah, oh man, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt just by standing next to the lava. This is a really tough approach. All right, they're just gonna keep coming, aren't they? I think I'm going to have to retreat. Oh, don't get my armor. Where's my ship? I don't know which direction my ship is in. Oh, I don't have a ship right now. I have to call it. Hold on. All right, that was an unsuccessful attack on the drill ship. I mean, I just retreated. I didn't die or anything, but look at my armor. I should be able to fully repair the armor without having to craft a new armor. So that's mainly the reason I got out of there. I want to go and repair and I want to come back better prepared. And I'm also running short on time, so I wanted to not have to worry about it as much. All right, so that's kind of cool. I like these stations. I'm gonna make as much mortar ammo as I can because I feel like the mortars are just gonna be the weapon for this. All right, you know what? I'm even going further. I just produced myself an extra iron armor. So if this runs out, I'll be able to replace it with new iron armor. I now have 30 hand mortar grenades and plenty of other ammo, so I'm just hoping that this is gonna work. <sighs> All right, here it goes. Oh no, I can already see this place is swarming with cogs as I surface here. It's gonna be a battle right off the bat. Uh, I, have enough, I have plenty of ammo on my drill ship. I got my armor all sorted out. I got a whole bunch of ammo for everything else. So let's get to it. Oh my goodness. Come on. All right, there we go. What? They destroyed this? What was this? I don't know what that was. I can't believe it. We're already starting off with getting destroyed. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's fine because I want to change my setup anyway. I think the turrets should always be... Oh, I got to repair that. All right, I got a breach replacement. So I think the turrets should always be at the edges and I'll deal with replacing whatever he got destroyed uh, in a bit. All right, where's the drill ship? Over there. In order to get over there, it looks like I got to go up through here and around. All right, let's repair the armor and let's get going. It looks like I got to go over to that drill ship over there. I'm going to send my drill ship underground so we do not have to worry about it uh, getting attacked while I'm doing this. Okay, there's a whole bunch over there. It looks like there might be some decent cover behind that pillar. All right, they're all coming. Hopefully I can get them all to group up and maybe I can just destroy them with a hand mortar. This is rough. Do you think I can just, do you think I could just hide and sneak around? Or are they coming at me? They look like they're coming at me. Whoa, they're all around me. They're literally all around me. This is really, really bad. This is really bad. I have no good cover. I can't hide anywhere. Okay, it is uh, SMG time. Oh my goodness, get behind cover, get behind cover. Okay, all right, all right. I think I covered most of the areas. All right, my armor's broken. All right, I already got to put on my new armor. I'm not even gonna loot those guys. Let's just head, I need to get to the drill ship before they send out more. They're already sending out more. Come on, put on the armor, put on the armor. There it goes. All right, repair, repair. There we go. I put slugs in my uh, shotgun, so it's actually a lot more powerful now. Okay. No, that's a grenade launcher. What? Okay, it is time for hand mortar. They have a grenade launcher? All right, yeah, that's hitting the grenade launcher. How many shots does the grenade launcher take? What? It's not dead yet. I don't understand. There we go, finally. Oh, no. All right, where's my shotgun? That didn't kill it. 
It's a slug. It should have killed it. Oh, I'm getting shot from a turret over there now. All right, where's... Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is not easy. This is so difficult. There's so many enemies. Is someone still alive? Yes. He's just hiding in the pile of bodies. All right, let's get the hand cannon back. Oh, I gotta reload everything. Oh, get prepared for the next wave. I'm already out of SMG ammo, pretty much. I got 22 bullets left. What are you coming over there for? All right, they're dead. Uh, there are, there's already more coming in this direction. All right, let me just get the hand mortar out. Let's just do what damage I can to that gun. Oh, he's right down there. Man, these things take so much. There we go. Now that one's destroyed. I can move up. All right, let's just do that. That destroyed something. Uh, there's a couple of things here. I think my shotgun should be able to do it. Or maybe not. Oh, this is this is really tough. They don't they can't even get by the bodies actually. I don't know why I'm wasting they can't get by them. Alright. Man, I'm glad I waited for the eruption and gave myself some more time because this is really, really time consuming. Okay, I'm just gonna do hand grenades now. I think hand grenades is the way to go from here. Oh I didn't realize they were coming out of there. Okay. All right, I need my gun out now. Go ahead and reload. I need to get inside and destroy the bot producing machines. Why can't I have a bot producing machine to produce friendly bots? Oh, um, all right, grenade time. I'm just gonna do a hand grenade. There we go, all right, I'm running in. Eh. All right, come on, let's get in. Let's find the machines. Um, I think I destroyed whatever one may have been in that section. What about over here? Here we go. Ah! That guy took multiple hits. Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him. I'm so low on health right now. I'm so, get him! I thought the handsaw was supposed to be better than that up close. All right, now is that everything? All right, no more machine over here. How about storage, you got any good in storage? What is it? A cog pickaxe is a mining tool and hand spell. Oh! Oh! What? Is this even better? Is this even better than- I don't know. This is cool though, I like that. So if I do this, it brings it down to 70%. So that's 30% versus this, which brings it down to 20- It's less 20% versus 30%, which is pretty cool. But I think the handsaw might be even better. I don't know. All right, I feel like I'm getting really close. There we go. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There it is. Finally, that took a lot of the day. And now that my inventory is full, I can't take any of this stuff. So I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna have to get rid of so many potentially useful things. All right, here it goes. Harvesting the ship for its drill parts. All right, I think I've harvested the entire ship. My inventory is way more than full and I should be, I think I should be able to call my ship to here. Dark Labyrinth 3, yes! I destroyed this drill ship and I will be replacing it with my own. All right, here it is, Corundum Drill. Area 3 is known for its thick layer of very strong granite. We're gonna need the better type of drill if we ever want to set foot in that part of the island. First, we have to get the Corundum Drill parts. That can blah, 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 blah. I hope you still have some from the previous raid. I should, right? Oh no, I need a re destroyed refinery module tier two. I'm gonna send my drill ship underground because I think there might be one under my drill ship from when I was uh, getting rid of stuff in my inventory. I hope so at least. I don't know if the drill ship destroys chests that I threw on the ground. Oh no, I think it may have. All right, well that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to find one of these, I think on the surface then. Yep, I see where it is. All right, that's not bad. All right, I just surfaced after the eruption, so visibility is terrible, but the one piece that I need is right over here, 50 meters away. We parked right next to it pretty much. So hopefully there aren't any cogs out here that are waiting to ambush me. There we go. Might as well get some of this too while I'm here. 
All right, let's go back and get this going. I want to see this new drill. All right, it is on right now. Holy cow, this is taking a really, really long time, but the corundum drill is now being produced. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is done. It is time to upgrade the drill. So let's, for old time's sake, take one final look at the old drill. This is what it used to look like. All right, and now let's upgrade it and see what the new drill is going to look like. Drill ship is finally capable of drilling through to area three. All right, whoa. Ooh, this one's a sharp one. This is cool. Now these things definitely spin. They, they have to, if those don't spin, I'm gonna be very disappointed. They have to spin. I wanna see this drill go. So let's go underground. And uh, I guess I'll have to resurface. You know, oh no, I should have sent it underground so I could watch it. All right, so now check it out. I can go through this darker rock terrain. It slows me down a lot, but now I have so much more ability to just travel through the, the ground. I am not nearly as limited since I can just go straight through pretty much any rock except that super dark uh, black border over here. All right, so now this means I can break through to this area, which I could never get to before. So let's surface by the Molten Lake. Here we go. Definitely doing the cinematic camera so we can see this drill, hopefully up close and personal. There are, I already see some cogs on the left-hand side of the screen. We might get attacked as soon as we surface. All right, there it goes. Oh man, it's gonna come around closer to the camera, I hope. That looks crazy. Yep, those parts are definitely spinning. That is a cool looking drill. Wow, we get to see all kinds of angles of it too as it goes by. All right, I'm a fan of this. That is definitely a well-deserved upgrade. We worked hard for that. All right, we're probably gonna get attacked soon, but let's take one final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know if you guys wanna see more. There's still one more drill to upgrade to, which is probably gonna take a while, and who knows what we're gonna have to fight in order to get there. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This was a massive upgrade ep episode. Huge section of the drill ship added and massive new drill. So I'm really, really excited about that. If you enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.